In today's gospel, we hear one of Jesus' most staggering promises. Truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. This is such a beautiful promise, and yet one that is so rarely fulfilled. And it's not rarely fulfilled because the giver, Jesus, is being stingy. It's rarely fulfilled because of how unusual it is for us to uphold our end of the bargain. For two of us to truly agree. For two or three of us to truly be together. And we way too often try to solve this problem on a cerebral level. We try to use rhetoric and fancy tools to convince one another of our points and to gain agreement that way. But that does not often work. What does, however, work is when we come together to do things, to do God's will, to serve in God's name. That is how, in spite of our pesky and persistent cerebral disagreements, we build up that sort of togetherness that Jesus calls for in today's gospel. So let's get out there, church. Let's serve the poor and needy together. Let's advocate for a more just, a more merciful, a more prosperous world together. Let's pray together. Let's build together. We don't have to agree cerebrally on everything to do that. We just have to have enough faith that when we go shoulder to shoulder with one another, even carrying those tensions and disagreements we can't seem to shake, that that's when two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, and he will be in the midst of us.